this shit? What's up, fight fans? I'm the Turtles 3 of Mixed Martial Arts, Tommy Toehold. And this Saturday, the UFC is gonna be in a giant fucking stadium in front of a shit ton of people with some badass motherfucking fights, and you're gonna watch the shit out of it. But watching the shit out of it becomes all the more awesome when you have the chance to win fucking money. When was the last time you went to a movie theater on a Saturday and had a chance to win money? You haven't, because they suck. But Cameron Fancy MMA at CounterMove.com doesn't. Nope. It's awesome as fuck, and will make your experience watching UFC 193 like the first time you saw Jurassic Park. It's fucking magical. How about this? I'll tell you how to play, who to pick, and at the end of the video, I'll give you a promo code for a 25% bonus on your deposit. Sounds like a fucking plan. All right, head to countermove.com like I've done here, click on the How It Works tab, let's get you up to speed on how to play this motherfucker. Watch my stupid face say words. What's up, fight fans? Today, I'm going to teach you how to play fantasy MMA at countermove.com. The first step is to select a game. There are free games, small games, and big games for all major MMA events. Next, you're going to pick a team of five fighters. Each game is played over the course of a single fight card, and you have $25,000 for $10 to draft a team of five fighters. Once you pick your team, you're ready for the last step. Score points and win. Once the fights begin, you get points based on how your fighters perform. Points are awarded for strikes landed, submissions attempted, knockdowns, dominant positions, rounds won, and knockout or submission bonuses. The team with the most points at the end of the night wins the tournament. It's that simple, fight fans. Sign up today at countermove.com. You're caught up. Awesome. Now it's time to pick a game. Big ones, small ones, our huge New Year's Eve finale with a top prize of $10,000. $10,000 top prize. Yeah, that's right. $10,000 top prize. Now you can jump into that New Year's Eve game for a cool 500, or you can win a qualifier game this Saturday at UFC 193 for like two bucks. So jump the fuck in some of those qualifier games, fight fans. But today we're going to focus on my 10K UFC 193 game. 25 bucks gets you in. Number one spot gets 1,250 bucks. Top 62 pays out. It's fucking awesome. Hit enter now and you're going to be brought to the team selection screen where it's time we broke this motherfucking card down. Remember, fight fans, we want stops and we want them fast. All right, first up, we've got Ryan Benoit taking on Ben Wynn. Benoit's got seven KO TKOs in eight wins, one of which was over Young Pettis. Wynn won his UFC debut via KO, but I gotta go with the data on this one, and Benoit has an 88% KO rate. When he wins, he wins hard. Benoit via KO TKO. Next, we have Anton Zafir making his UFC debut against James Muntasri. Both of these guys stop fights when they win. Both have comparable records. Considering Muntasri's last four wins have come via stoppage, and he's cheap as fuck at 4,300, I'm gonna go with him, and he might end up on my team. Maybe. We'll see. Next, we've got Richard Walsh taking on Steve Kennedy. A ton of experience for Kennedy and 12 first round stops. Walsh has not had a finish since 2012. Easy pick for me here. Kennedy, the one most likely to score points. Next, we have Steve Montgomery taking on Daniel Kelly. Montgomery lost his UFC debut via first round KO and six of Kelly's eight wins have come via stoppage. Plus, he has a bit more UFC experience. Gonna go with the underdog here in Kelly. Might not be a bad pick for the price if you're looking to get someone more expensive later on in the fights. Next, we've got Richie Vasulik taking on Danny Martinez. Vasulik lost his UFC debut via first round KO. Martinez has three UFC bouts with three decisions. Both have struggled in the UFC. I'll go with Vasulik for his finish rate, but I think I will avoid this one. Next, we've got Gian Vellante taking on Anthony Perosh. Gian Vellante is fucking powerful. Two of three UFC wins have come via TKO. Perosh has been KO TKO'd six times, including his last loss in the UFC. Vellante is the pick, and he's a solid one. Might end up on my team. Next up, we've got Peter Sabota taking on Kyle Noak. Holy shit, Sabota is a submission machine. Six of his last seven wins have come via first round sub. Four or five UFC wins have come via stoppage for Noak. This one probably won't see the final bell and Saboto's round one finishes are just too enticing for me. Saboto for an early sub win. Next we've got the feature battle of the prelims. James Matthews taking on Akbar Ariola. Holy shit there's a big gap in value on these fighters but I'm not entirely sure why. Matthews at 5400 has both of his UFC wins coming via sub. He did lose his last one though in the first round. Ariola is one and two in the UFC. Both losses via decision. I'm kind of mad on this one. I'm not really sure why Matthews Matthews is 5,400. He doesn't have a ton of experience. So if you're feeling risky, go with Areola because at 4,200, he is a steal. And in 23 wins, he's only had a decision once. On to the main card. Next, we've got Stefan Struve taking on Jared Rochalt. The skyscraper hasn't had a finish since 2012. He's also had some heart issues and he has a tendency to get punched in the face really hard. Rochalt hasn't fared much better in terms of finishes. Four or five UFC wins have come via decision. But as an all-American wrestler, he might cause problems. I think this goes to a decision and not a very active one. Believe it or not, I'm picking Rochalt 
won't be a decision, but he won't be going on my team. Next, we've got Uriah Hall taking on Robert Whitaker. Hall is killing it lately. His last three wins come via TKO. Sorry, Adam. Most notably, Gegard Masasi. Whitaker's no slouch, though. The dude has three of his five UFC wins coming via KO TKO. To me, Hall is white hot right now, and I expect another insane stop. Hall for the win early, and yes, he's definitely a good pick for your team. Next up, we've got the rematch between Mark Hunt and Bigfoot Silva. The first time these two fought, it was a five-round barn burner, but I don't think we're gonna get that this time. For one, the fight's three rounds, and two, I don't think it's gonna go all three. Hunt has been TKO'd now in his last two fights. Bigfoot's only wins in the UFC come via KO TKO. If Bigfoot wins, he knocks you unconscious. Whoever you think's gonna win this one, you should probably put him on your team, because somebody is likely going to sleep. It hurts me to say this because I love Mark Hunt, but I'm picking Bigfoot to get the stoppage night of upsets. That is until we get to these title fights. Joanna Champion is taking on Valerie Letourneau. Holy shit, the price gap between these two. Joanna has finished both of her title bouts via KO TKO. She is a volume striker and she is fucking nasty. Valerie has all three of her UFC wins coming via decision. Interestingly, both fighters took Claudia Godella to a split decision, but on this night, I think this one ends violently. Joanna is a great pick, but holy fuck, is she gonna be expensive. Finally, we've got the main event of the evening, Ronda Rousey taking on Holly Holm. Again, a huge price gap between the two, and rightfully so. Ronda has crushed everyone in her path. Her last four fights have lasted two minutes and ten seconds combined. Holly Holm is no joke, though. Despite you not knowing her as well, she trains at a Jackson Winkle John, one of the best gyms in the world. She's been doing combat sports for a very long time, and has 17 KO TKOs across her combat sports career. Of the two champions fighting Saturday, if you're gonna pick an upset, and it's a long shot, don't get me wrong, you would go with Holly over Valerie, because Holly has proven she can hit you once and you go to sleep. There is always that chance for her, but in all likelihood, Ronda gets in range for a toss, puts Holly on the ground, and subs her. I'm going with Ronda Rousey for a first round win, and if you can afford her, I would definitely be putting her on my team. If you want to get one of the two champions on your team, Ronda has proven more often that she will get a first round stop. Now that you know all the matchups, it's time to make your picks. You can go with whoever the fuck you want, but I'm going with Akbar Ariola, Gian Vellante, Uriah Hall, Bigfoot Silva, and Ronda fucking Rousey. Once you've got your team, hit the play now button, invite some friends, and from now to fight night, you can adjust your team as much as you want. Now, onto that sweet-ass motherfucking 25% deposit bonus. From now to fight night, if you use the promo code DMB, you're gonna get a 25% bonus on your deposit. How fucking awesome is that? There's never been a better time to sign up. Get in my game, get in the qualifier game so you can get into that big New Year's Eve game. At UFC 195, Lawler vs. Condit, Countermove is holding a $25,000 finale game with a top prize of 10 thousand fucking dollars that is life-changing money there will be a series of qualifier events each week kicking off with ufc 192 going through ufc 195 the qualifier games happen each week across each week's events and have normal entry fees the top places in the qualifier games earn a ticket to the finale but you can also buy a ticket to the finale right fucking now for 500 dollars because you gotta risk it to get the biscuit unless you win a qualifier then you're in the finale and i'm telling you you're gonna have a great fucking time everybody countermove.com i'm tommy toehold i'll see you on the leaderboards motherfuckers